Do you want to know what the most versatile tube amp that's ever been made is? I'm going to cut right to the chase. It is none other than the Custom Audio Amplifiers OD100. Now, you may say to yourself, I've never heard of Custom Audio Amplifiers. How do I know that they're any good? Well, just to give you a quick backstory on the lineage, Custom Audio Amplifiers was an endeavor with John Sir of Sir Guitar Amplifiers and Pedals and Robert Bradshaw, arguably one of the godfathers, if not the godfather of the pedal board and rack that pretty much created the whole MIDI controller thing as far as pedal boards are concerned. And pretty much every switcher that we can conceive of out there owes a debt of gratitude to Robert Bradshaw for this. Now, John Sir in the last 30 years or so is primarily the one responsible for manufacturing and distributing the rack preamps and also the amplifiers as it transitioned from a rack preamp into a full-blown amplifier that had a preamp and a power amp in one, previously known as custom audio electronics, and then in an amp form as custom audio amplifiers. Now, these are no longer made, and if you ask John Sir, can you make this, he's going to tell you, you need to go get a PT-100, which is sort of an evolution of what these custom audio amplifiers became. Now, the original rack unit was used by some of the greatest players in rock and session history, whether we're talking about Paul Jackson Jr., Michael Landau, Steve Lukather, Marty Friedman. This thing was highly utilized in the 90s and really defined the sound of 90s pop and rock tones and was used very heavily on a lot of the stuff that you might have heard on the radio that we've all come to know and love, just knowing how prolific some of those session musicians I just mentioned were during that era. But what I really think is cool about this amp is its versatility as a channel switching amp. Every channel switching amp promises you everything. They say it's going to have the ultimate clean channel, it's going to have the ultimate crunch tone, it's going to have the ultimate lead tone. But none of them are actually anchored, I don't think, in the real thing. And today, to put this amplifier through its paces and see what it's actually really capable of, I want to actually compare it to sort of the Mount Rushmore of iconic amplifiers that most of these channel switchers say that they emulate. And even the original 3 Plus SE, although maybe not said directly in their literature, was sort of roughly uh, supposed to approximate kind of like a twin reverb Fender clean sound, kind of a you know, Plexi or JMP sort of Marshall second channel, and then more of a Soldano SLO third channel. So today I'm going to take the custom audio amplifiers OD100 with the 3 plus SE modifications or the SE plus modifications. I forget exactly what it is that they call it, but I'll show you the back of the amp so you can see the identifier and compare it to a vintage black panel mid 60s Fender. I'm going to compare it to a mid 70s Marshall JMP. I'm also going to compare it to a Soldano SLO. And I'm going to be using the Laylee splitter, so I'm actually able to record the guitar sounds into both amps simultaneously. And then I'm going to use a little bit of processing in post so that it doesn't affect anything that's going into the front of these amps. And I'm going to be playing through a couple of different tracks with a couple of different guitars so we can really hear how they sound in different contexts. So let's not waste any time getting into the tones. Let's just start right away with the clean tone. So for this, I'm going to be using a Custom Shop Strat. This is a 54 style custom shop Stratocaster. Everything about it is stock, sounds amazing. And then I'm gonna play over the backing track from the hit Michael Jackson song, Human Nature. Now I'm not making any claim that this is what was used on that song. In fact, I think it was a Rivera modded deluxe reverb that was used on the original song by Steve Lukather playing those guitar parts and probably was using a Valley Arts, but was roughly a Strat sound. And so I'm going to go and play to a backing track of the synthesizer parts that Greg Fillengaines had played on the original song. And we're going to get to toggle back and forth in real time between the Bandmaster and also the OD100. So we get to hear how good this clean tone actually is and how close it actually resembles a real clean Fender amplifier.
new guitar onto the second channel. So the second channel of the OD100 is roughly designed to approximate sort of a Marshall Plexi or a JMP style sound. Now, I have both a late 60s Marshall Super Lead and then I also have a 70s era JMP. Now the JMP is a little bit maybe gainier. It has a master volume. It's a vertical input version and sort of the predecessor to the JCM 800. And I think that these probably do a little bit better job of, of getting that sort of tone, but it's still within sort of the vintage Marshall characteristic. So again, to compare this, I'm gonna go into the second channel with this Les Paul. I'm gonna go directly into the splitter with one side feeding the front, the high gain input of the Marshall JMP and the other side is going to hit the second channel of the OD100. I'm gonna set these as close as I can to sound the best that they can for the song that we're gonna be playing over. And I'm gonna be playing the classic Paul Kossoff riff that has been way overdone, and we're just gonna pile on to that. Playing the, the song uh, All Right Now by Free, and uh, I'll do my best job to stay in time and make sure that it sounds as good as it can so that we can sort of have a reference point for how these two things sound. And let's, let's, let's see what we got. Let's see how close they get and uh, we'll A, B, and back and forth as I play it, and we'll get to hear both those amps. Let's do it. On the custom audio amplifiers, the way that you get the third channel is basically by boosting the second channel. So there's a boost switch that you engage, and then it throws it into additional gain. So we're gonna check out that third channel to kind of get that SLO sound. I'm gonna change over to my SLO, change guitars, and then be right back with you. All right, guitar change. We're gonna go now to the SLO sound. Again, I'm gonna go with my PRS DGT in the bridge position. This is gonna go directly into my splitter, one side going into my Soldano SLO on the lead channel, the other going into the custom audio amplifiers in the second channel with the boost on. It comes with a little foot switch like this so that you're able to engage that third channel easily on the fly, or you could hook this up to your switcher with a TRS cable and engage it there. We're going to see how close they get. I'm going to play a little bit of the Billy Idol song Rebel Yell by the great Steve Stevens. I'm going to try to do my best job to lock in my pick attack so that I can uh, stay on time with the great drumming that is on that song. And let's see what we get. Let's see how close we can get them to sound. And uh, let's have a listen. capabilities of this amp, what it is able to do, how close it's being able to approximate the sounds. And again, for a gigging musician, I can't imagine that you're going to find something that is more versatile at actually pulling off these sounds. And so I'm incredibly impressed with it. And as far as most versatile amps, I mean, I got to say the Rivera uh, Stage 4 is incredibly versatile. We did a great video on that. And you can check that out above. I'll link it up here and also down in the description if you want to check that out. And that certainly has the studio tone of the late 70s and early 80s unquestionably. But as far as the versatility, having three channels, having a boost channel on each of the channels as well, that you can boost the clean, you can boost the dirty and get that kind of third channel sound. You got the Marshall sound, you got the Fender clean sound. I think it's pretty hard to beat. I think that you're not going to find anything that can cover more ground than this. If you're in a top 40 band, or you just need to be able to cover the gamut of amplifiers. It's got an effects loop. 
It's got all the things that you would want as a guitar player and really sounds great with everything we threw at it. I'd love to know what you think about this amp. How close were the examples? Did you feel like we nailed the Fender tone? Did we nail the Marshall tone? Did we nail the SLO tone using the OD100? I, I feel like we did, but again, ultimately you're the judge. And if you feel like there's any other amplifiers that really nail this sound, I'd love to hear from you about what those amps might be. Again, I'm always searching for great versatile amps that I can you know, tell other people about and can get excited about. And so far, this has been the one that has blown my socks off. And I'm always looking for these types of amps. This thing is definitely a keeper and, and the price of admission is fairly reasonable. For two grand, roughly, on reverb, these can be had and are really workhorses and, uh, again, really well-built sound great, and uh, again, I don't think you can beat it for the versatility that it has, and I feel like we really proved that today. If you like this video and you would like to support our channel, the easiest way to do that is go buy one of our pedals. I know we didn't use any of them today because I really wanted to keep it about the amplifier, but we have a lot of great pedal offerings over on vertexeffects.com. You can check out all the pedals, you can check out our dealers and distributors all around the world. Also, if you want to have a consultation with me, I offer one-to-one -to -one tone consultations over on therigdr.com. We have several different options that you can choose from as far as the time and the tone consult. And not only am I one of the options for a tone consult, there are other tiers available as well that are at lower price points. Also over on therigdr.com, we offer custom cables, patch cables, instrument cables, all those things. So please do check that out if you are interested. And we also have a free way that you can support us by heading over to our podcast, The Chairman of the Boards. It's on all the common podcatchers from Spotify to Amazon to Apple, all the places you can find it. Chairman of the Boards, I have a roundtable discussion every week with other rig builders, including Grant Klassen from Goodwood Audio, as well as Brian O'Million from O'Million Audio. We talk about tone, gear, DIY techniques. I think you're really going to dig it if you like these sorts of videos. And until next time, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects, a.k.a. The Rig Doctor. And that was the Custom Audio Amplifiers OD100. Go check them out on Reverb. They're no longer made, but are very affordable if you want to basically have three amps in one. I really love it. I think you will, too. See you next time.